future of Europe is extremely important to the United States. Uh, Europe matters to us uh, not just because these are countries people like to visit on vacation. Europe matters because it's our biggest economic relationship for the United States. Uh, these are the countries that we cooperate with the most in the world, whether that's militarily, whether it's on political issues, uh, whether it's in international agreements and negotiations. So having a partner in Europe that we can work with uh, and who shares the same um, goals we have is extremely important for the United States to be successful in the world. Now the question of where Europe is headed, that's, uh, that's a complicated one because on the one hand, um, Europe has been getting closer and closer uh, over the years, it's been integrating, and now we see uh, a bit of a backlash against this. We saw it in the Brexit referendum, um, and, and that will lead over the course of the next couple of years to the UK leaving uh, the European Union. Um, the European Union is also, it has, uh, it has doubters and skeptics in many other countries, um, including some of the core countries in France, in Italy, um, and, uh, and as well in, in other places. So uh, this erosion of confidence um, is a problem that European leaders have to, have to address, and they need to ensure that the European Union remains relevant, that it's, it's solving the problems that their voters um, perceive. I think NATO is only becoming more important because at the same time that you have this erosion of, uh, of confidence in the political institutions of Europe, the European Union, you have a growing perception of threat in Europe. Um, and that comes from a couple of different directions. On the one hand, it comes from Russia, um, especially after the 2014 invasion of, uh, of Ukraine, annexation of Crimea. It also comes from the South. That's a much more diffuse uh, problem. It's a migration problem. It's a terrorism problem. It's a border security problem. Um, it's also a question of relations with Turkey and with the Middle East. So in light of all of these um, problems, challenges, threats, uh, NATO and the security role it plays is becoming more important. So that's why you see NATO increasing its presence in countries uh, along the border uh, with Russia. Um, it's also why you see European countries investing more in their own defense, um, with uh, 22 countries increasing their defense spending over the last year. And, uh, and that's why uh, countries are looking to the United States um, and its uh, role within NATO and the policies of the new administration toward NATO, uh, because that's going to be so uh, crucial to, uh, to their future. The U.S. economic relationship with Europe is the biggest one we have anywhere in the world. Um, people think a lot about China when they talk about trade and investment, but actually the, uh, the, tr the investments of the United States in Europe and the uh, Europe in the United States total about $4 trillion. So this is um, you know, about three times as much as the United States has invested in all of Asia. In a similar way, trade. Uh, between the United States and Europe is one-third greater than trade between the U.S. and China. So all of, uh, all of these things are important um, and, and it also means that economic um, difficulty in Europe uh, can have an effect on the United States and vice versa.